Hey everybody, Jim Prusak here from The Pain PT. And today I wanna to talk about Dr. Sarno and his massive impact on chronic pain. He was such inspiration for myself and for many other practitioners uh, who are working with chronic pain. As a physical therapist here, uh, my training has been 100% in the body, pretty much, on learning structural issues and how structure causes pain. And when I came across Dr. Sarno, Back in the early 2000s, I had reached out to him and spoke to him and conversed with him, and he really gave me so much good information, and reading his books and so forth had really changed my whole career and how I look at chronic pain. So I want to talk about Dr. Sarno and what he really did for the rest of us who are working now with chronic pain, his massive contributions to the field. So Dr. Sarno wrote three really influential books and many of you may have already read these but if you haven't please go ahead and pick up a copy of them um, he was one of the first doctors starting in the 70s to look at this mind-body connection and he was a regular doctor an MD working in New York City New York University NYU and he kind of came upon this himself he really just by trial and error of working with people over the years he came up with sort of observations that he noticed in a lot of his patients and why people weren't getting better with chronic pain. So I want to talk a little bit about some of this stuff. What I found to be the most influential in my career and also some of his greatest insights. So Dr. Sarno's premise was that a lot of chronic pain and other chronic health issues in the body, physical issues that don't heal, were caused by rage. And it wasn't just anger like we see when we get upset about something. It was actually unconscious rage. It had to do more with the unconscious and subconscious mind than it had to do with, with conscious anger. And he coined this term tension myositis syndrome, or TMS, as it's known. And that became a worldwide phenomenon, this name, TMS. It's more recently been coined a few different names called PPD or psychophysiologic disorder or MBS, mind-body syndrome, and a number of, number of other acronyms to describe the original TMS. And what was just amazing with Dr. Sarno was his ability to put together in his books sort of an outline of what he saw in people. So when people could read his books, they could see in themselves exactly the person he was talking about who could get chronic pain and other chronic health issues. And that really, I think, helped a lot of people to heal because they could see themselves on the pages. And I want to talk about two of the, what I think are the most important things that Dr. Sarno gave to all of us when we're talking about a lot of these TMS problems. And his first thing was looking at the personality characteristics. People that are more prone to developing chronic pain, other chronic health ailments. And these people have personality traits such as perfectionism, they're do-gooders, they want to help other people to a large extent, and they're people pleasers. So these people tend to put a lot more pressure on themselves when they do these things. And they're not always going to be um, expressing themselves and taking care of themselves in the same way. So he found that these personality characteristics were part and parcel with people who developed chronic pain and other chronic health ailments. And he went on to um, come up with his normal evaluation process, which included getting to know the person and their personality characteristics, doing a physical exam, and other such things. But the second thing I want to talk about, in addition to his ability to notice his personality characteristics and people with TMS, was his ability to notice, and I think this is, could be his greatest contribution, that symptoms in the body, physical symptoms, can move around. He called this the symptom imperative. So let's say, for example, somebody who had upper back or mid-back pain, and then that pain sort of went away, and then all of a sudden a hip pain popped up, or maybe it was a shoulder pain that came in. Or well, now all of a sudden there's irritable bowel uh, symptoms or stomach ailments. Even he noted that 
physical symptoms could revert back to emotional anxiety. So Dr. Sarna really, through his close observation with his patients, was able to identify a single underlying cause for all these things, that it was just the same condition. They weren't separate problems that went from the back to the hip to the shoulder to the stomach and then to anxiety. It was all part of the same condition called TMS, which has to do with the subconscious and unconscious mind. So he is, was such an amazing practitioner, passed away at the age of 93, unfortunately did not get the full respect of his colleagues. But there's been documentaries made about Dr. Sarno, and I believe he was the, really the first one to put the pieces of the puzzle together, linking the brain and nervous system with physical problems. He was the first one to notice that the psychological mind can create physical problems in the body. And we've since gone on to do and understand a lot more about the role of the brain and the nervous system since Dr. Sarno passed away and his work's being carried on by many of us here trying to take it to the next level. But Dr. Sarno was a legend and I just want to put this out to him and thank him so much for his contributions to the field and his works. They're the seminal works in this field and they're still the classic works that people can go back to and read. And the first things I recommend for people is to read Dr. Sarno's books. So if you haven't done that yet, please go out and have a look at his books, um, especially if you're suffering from chronic pain or other chronic ailments. Thank you, everybody, and hope you have a great rest of your day.